hello 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 welcome back guys to my youtube channel if you're seeing this screen then you know which video we're gonna continue yes today we're gonna continue our requirement analysis video fao erlangen for the course autonomy technologies so this will be our episode number 48 so we have already done requirement analysis up to 47 episodes so in that 47 episode we have covered wide variety of colleges wide variety of courses for winter and summer semester both and what are the search criteria that we have done master degree engineering electrical engineering only english only and also full-time on-site 50 percent less than online is also included and up to 5000 euro per semester is uh, included that's because uh, there are some states which they're gonna cost 1500 euros say example baden württemberg that's the reason we put this criteria and we got 94 results of our criteria so in this 94 we have already done requirement analysis of 47 and today we're gonna do 48 requirement analysis for fau erlangen college autonomy technology before that if you're new to this channel then please don't forget to click like share and subscribe and also please share this video with the people who are in need so that they can also look into our video check for the requirement analysis at first understand the requirement analysis then in the application video also we go into parts where we show how to apply how to register for their portal or uniuses then how to fill in the educational background details uh, support that with uh, documents then finish the application these are the typical way of king videos in our channel upon this if you still need one-on-one -on -one session with me then please don't hesitate to join our youtube membership course where you can also get one-on-one -on -one session with me with that you can also get unlimited amount of cv change uh, lor sop changes and if you want also i can apply for you for your college whichever you choose so this is what i just wanted to let you guys know in the intro then we'll get started as i told you today we're gonna start requirement analysis for the college fao erlangen for msc autonomy technology and this will be episode number 48 in this at first in the requirement analysis we usually go through the overview course detail cost and fundings and other things like that in the overview you can just see the degree is master of science if it is master of science then it will be four semester usual and uh, the teaching language is completely in english the course location is in Erlangen, FAU Erlangen. Then full-time and part-time both are possible. So you can also do full-time studies and also if you're working already in Germany, if you want to do part-time study, then this off this course offers you the part-time studies too. So this is a one good thing for people who are uh, who want to study alongside with the work. Then the beginning of uh, semester would be both in winter and summer semester. So you can apply in both semesters. So if you don't get in this particular winter semester or miss the deadline, don't worry, you can also apply in summer semester. So that is not a bad thing. Then additional information, the welcome week of the international student takes place at the beginning of October or at the beginning of April, depending on the semester. So October, if it is happening, then it is winter semester. April, if it is happening, then it is summer semester. Then application deadline is winter semester 15 July and summer semester 15 January. So as we are applying for winter semester and the deadline is in 15 July. After this video, I will check for the application. If that is open, then I will show you how to apply also in two parts. Otherwise, we will wait for some time until the application is open. Then I will show you how to apply. Then tuition fees per semester is none and combined degree, um, combined uh, master degree, PhD program cannot be done. Joint degree is also cannot be done. Then description and content content so autonomy technology offers a unique combination of engineering computer science and artificial intelligence so this is the main picture of this autonomy technology because once you check for the name it doesn't give any information on which subject this gonna help uh, electrical engineering related computer science other things so once you go into content you will get an idea this autonomy te technology is is the combination of engineering computer science and artificial intelligence which you guys learn more about the systems artificial intelligence mecha mechatronics electrical engineering and other things so these are the things that you wanna uh, uh this these are the things that you're gonna learn in the content but we will get to know the information in deeper in course details so in the course details you can just see the msc program provides a advanced knowledge to tackle autonomy technologies and create autonomous systems so this is nothing but you are working on autonomous driving or autonomous systems in automo automobile industry or any of the related industry so that's the main focus of this particular university when you are learning then the research oriented program uh, focuses on design and development of autonomous systems as one of the today's most relevant technology challenging and consisting mandatory elective models in two or four areas of specialization so they have two or four areas of specialization you can also see the areas of specialization that they are offering in autonomy technology human system interfaces 
networking and collaboration planning control or sensing perception so these are the four areas of specialization that you're going to choose and most of them chooses human system interfaces or network and collaboration so this is what uh, one of my or two of my friends also doing in fau they based on them input only i am doing this because i never heard of this course but they said it's a good course where you will be learning more about autonomous driving and other things that's the reason i'm doing then here in the in the studies as i told you you will have this area of internship uh, area of uh, specialization then students obtain advanced knowledge in elective modules and se uh, seminars lab courses are also provided with the practical perspective which dependent on supplemented and soft skill in team project or an internship in the industry uh, in the industry the programming the program is completed by master thesis so this is how they have planned it i guess it's very well planned and maintained this course is completely on a particular specialization which is autonomous systems or autonomous driving or autonomous system so it's a very good niche if you want to pursue on automobile industry on autonomous systems then this course is for you then international elements international guest lecture lecture uh, language tra training program projects with partners in germany and abroad international cooperation comparison and thematic reference then content related uh, regional focus these are the things that you can uh, uh, get from international elements now the most important thing so there is a integrated internship internship in the industry or research internship as a part of curriculum so this plays a very good role in your studies because as it is integrated internship or mandatory internship people has to take you as a priority when you applied for internship say example i being a student from a college where my i don't have the in internship mandatory and you are applying for the same position and you will get the more priority because as you have the mandatory internship that's the reason please make sure that you apply for companies which are tied up with fau or closely working with fau so that they will also know that they have to give internship so i know about erlangen so in erlangen there are so many autonomous industries so you can also apply for electrobit which is also one of the famous companies in uh, fau and uh, capgemini and continental and audi there are always there which are big big names you can also apply for them but yeah i'm just giving the idea in intern integrated internship that means you have to do a mandatory internship then course specific integrated german language course is not possible course specific english language course is also not there then cost and fundings as i told you in the cost and funding the tuition fees is none so you don't need to have or pay any tuition fees but you have to pay the semester contribution of 6 to 7 euros but this 6 to 7 euros does not include the semester uh, semester ticket so if you want to get a semester ticket who if you want to travel all over the bavaria or all over the germany as of now you have to buy a deutschland ticket by your own otherwise uh, if you pay uh once the semester ticket is gone then you pay a uh, uh, semester fees or semester ticket then you will get a free transportation inside bavaria state other than that the cost of living they have estimated up to 930 euros per month so this 930 euros can be divided into these many things uh, rent food clothing transport and other things so depending upon you and your things so you can also uh live in lesser money or more money but as i told you we will be blocking certain amount of money before our arrival in germany itself so that particular amount of money will be sent to us every month if we exceed that amount of money then anyway we have to do a part time job in order to live in germany so these are the things that you need to keep in mind so if you are well above the limit of the money that you are getting from blocked account then you need to work as a part time then funding opportunity inside the university yes there is a possibility of funding opportunity you can also look into this website where you will get how to finance your studies while you are studying in fau what are the scholarship that they are offering then in the requirements and registration what are the requirements and registration that you need to have in order to apply for this particular course at first prerequisite engineering mathematics you need to have done engineering mathematics in linear algebra calculus geometry probability theory information theory signal processing so if you have done proper maths in indian university most of the things would be covered so no need to worry then the control theory so if you have done electrical engineering and electronic telecommunication electronics communication you would have done control theory 1 and 2 or system theory 1 and 2 so that will cover this part so no need to worry then in sensor you need to have studied physics design application so for sensors uh, you will have also studied so many uh, things in our electrical engineering i think we had sensors and in integrated ics and other things which are related to sensors and mechatronics here you need to have a fundamentals that they are asking so if you are coming from electronics electrical engineering subject 
you would have done a one common syllabus or first sem uh, first year you would have done p cycle or c cycle where you would have learned about engineering uh, uh, mechanical engineering basic subjects so there you would have learned about mechatronic systems then electrical engineering as usual you need to have a core knowledge of electrical engineering basic programming language example in c c++ python matlab so if you come from electronics electrical and any of the things you would have known about c and matlab so c++ python you could prove by taking any of the elective subjects if you are still watching this video and studying otherwise you can also prove it by taking any of the courses or if you have worked on it if you have worked on any project then you can prove that but in the curriculum uh, you would have add c and matlab or embedded c if you have done microcontroller and other things then knowledge of fundamentals in algorithm data structure all these things you would be learning in uh, c programming and c programming lang uh, lab who uh, everybody would have been studied in their first year then language requirement as i told you you need to have a english language level of b2 according to cfr then a toefl 85 ielts band 6 so you need to have ielts band 6 and above and they have not mentioned individual band score so you need to have a overall band of 6 that's enough application deadline is 15 july and you have to apply in their particular uh, website so which will be free of cost usually but let's see how it can be so if if it is free then everybody can apply in order to chuck their luck too so we have to apply not via uniasis it's with their internal portal so i will show you in next parts how to apply via their internal portal and services what are the services that they offer as i told you you can also find a uh, find a part-time job inside the university where they will pay 12 euros per uh, hour you can also do a uh, 500 euro job which is mini job and you will also get a heavy and you can also work as a work student in any of the colleges in any of the companies in accommodation usually everybody will suggest you to look for the student accommodation or student in work where you will get the cheap cheap accommodation but for this you, you have to get an admission then you can go register here upload your admission letter then you will get a priority and get an accommodation after that you know, in order to support the international student there are welcome event buddy program visa matters pickup service and other things but uh, everything would be helpful for you then about the university fau is a very old university you can just see founded in 1743 it has a wide variety or a wide range of history behind it you can also look through it who are the alumni who are the colleges who founded some companies and those are the companies which are closely funding fau so you can also get to apply for their uh, their uh, work students any openings if they have but these are the things that I wanted to mention in the requirement analysis of FA, uh, FAU Erlangen for the course Autonomy Technologies. So hope you guys liked it, uh, our episode number 48. In the next part, I, I will check for this particular application to open. If it is open, then I will make a video. Otherwise, then I will make a video on TU Cabinets. So see you in the next video. Until then, check it. Bye-bye.